Hi there, I'm Rob and this is a video blog post for Distilled. In the next five or six minutes I wanted to talk to you about using Firebug for SEO. Firebug's a Firefox plugin, it's very popular with web designers and web developers, but I want to show how we can, uh, we can use it for doing technical aspects of SEO, site reviews and this kind of thing. When you grab it from the Mozilla site it's just one click to install and you'll see a new option under your tools menu to open Firebug. I'm going to use this Telegraph article as an example. I'll open Firebug with F12, the default key press, and it opens this pane up at the bottom of your screen. On the left hand side is the HTML code of the page, on the right hand side is the, uh, the CSS. Probably the most useful feature from an SEO perspective is to be able to inspect the code of a page. So if I click this inspect tool button then you'll see the blue outlines show uh, the part of the page that I'm pointing at and in the lower pane you can see the HTML code that's used to render the page. Uh, vice versa if I hover over the code then you'll see the part of the page that that code corresponds to gets highlighted. And of course the useful feature here is that we can inspect to make sure SEO best practices are in place. For instance I can hover over the heading and check that it's got an H1 tag around it. It does, that's great. I might also check the links at the top of the page to see whether it's a table and I can see actually no we've got nice semantic unordered lists here so I'm happy with that as well. Uh, you can check images so if I just inspect this image then we can see there's no alt attribute on it so in a review for a client I might recommend that they make sure they put alt attributes on their article images. The other thing we can do to inspect the page uh, code is to use this search box on the right hand side and for instance if I type h2 in there press return then it will show me all the h2 level tags. Uh, if I want to see what they look like when they appear on the page then I can hover over them and I get to see where they are. So one of the reasons that uh, developers and designers like it so much is the ability to test on the fly changes to their code. If I uh, just click on an item we can, uh, we can change it like that and likewise if I click on the CSS that, uh, that formats that item we can make that title orange pretty quickly and see what that looks like. Uh, the reason that this is so useful from my perspective as an SEO is if I'm trying to demonstrate changes that could be made to a site. So if I was going to recommend to the client that uh, they linked their journalist names to a page of all the articles that journalist's written then it's a case of clicking on the element to edit it, adding the tags that I'd like them to use, and now we can see that uh, those tags have been added appropriately to the page, so I could screenshot that and include it in a recommendations document. It's uh, a situation where, particularly if you're recommending changes to breadcrumbing or, or navigational structures on a page, being able to show an image of how you want the page to look after changes have been made really does speak a thousand words and can make uh, make your documents and your presentations um, much more easy to understand from the recipient's perspective. So as well as looking at HTML code on the page, one of the other uh, particularly useful features is the Net tab. If I uh, refresh this page, then what we'll see is a list down here of all the HTTP requests made to load this page. So as well as the basic HTTP request to get the HTML code, we'll see the linked JavaScript files, CSS files, images, and the uh, on the right hand side the bars show how long each of those took to, uh, to request and to download. And this is a really quick way of uh, diagnosing any site speed problems. Uh, a client just last week used uh, used this tool to look at why their pages were loading slowly, found that a one pixel tracking, uh, tracking GIF for their analytics package was adding about two seconds to page load time. So by, uh, by not rendering that or by doing, uh, by doing things differently there, then they managed to dramatically reduce the, uh, the amount of time it took to load a page. Uh, if you click on individual uh, items, then you'll get to see the actual HTTP headers that were sent and received. As well as the net and HTML tabs, there's other functions that will help people diagnose uh, technical issues with their JavaScript or their CSS, but from an SEO perspective it's very useful for diagnosing on-site SEO issues 
for creating images for presentations and reports and uh, I think it's an invaluable piece of, uh, piece of kit to have in your SEO toolbox. I hope this has introduced you to uh, a tool that you'll find as useful as I do. I'll put relevant links on the distilled blog page and uh, yeah, go and download Firebug and, uh, and give it a go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Alright, take care. Thanks for watching.